Hi, I'm Ruth Aspie. Welcome to this week's edition of What You Need to Know About Catatonia and ASD. This week we're going to talk about some more characteristics that you might see. And remember we're saying you might see because no one's going to have all of these characteristics. The characteristics that we're talking about are characteristics that are impact speech. And you may notice that a person in general doesn't talk as much as they used to. They may respond to questions or conversation with very minimal uh, speech. They may have no speech at all. And again, remember we talked about in a previous week that the characteristics of catatonia may wax and wane during the course of the day. So an individual who is able to be verbally responsive at one part of the day may not be able to be responsive at another part of the day. That could be the catatonia as it's lifting and then setting back in on the individual. Another thing that you might notice is an increase in echolalia. A lot of, well, we know that echolalia is a uh, characteristic often of autism, but if you see it increase significantly or if you see it begin in an individual that did not used to have echolalia, then you might want to think, could this be catatonia? And finally, verbiguration, which is repeating not what someone else has said or what, what something in the environment has said, but repeating one's own speech. And we particularly see verbiguation Sometimes in individuals, they repeat the last word or the ending of something that they just said. When we see that in an individual with autism, it may be a signal that we need to consider catatonia.